On this segment, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, stacked income protection plan available to, to uh, producers of upland cotton. I've spent a lot of time over the last couple of weeks going through the provisions for covered commodities, and I said earlier on that the cotton is no longer a covered commodity and will, uh, as such, will not be getting protection from FSA as it has in the past. Uh, it will be, for FSA programs, will be a loan-only type program. Uh, so del delving into stacked income protection plan, or stacks as it's been term termed, uh, it's going to be available for the 2015 crop across the country, uh, fairly widely available. There will be a, a release coming fairly soon from a risk management agency telling us which counties exactly will have it. It is an area plan. Uh, it is an insurance plan, just first and foremost. So when a producer starts thinking about this, it is different than, than uh, the type of protection uh, upland cotton producers have gotten over the, over the years. When you purchase insurance, obviously some, some years it's going to pay and some years it's not going to pay. Just keep that in mind. But more, a little bit more about the plan. It is a uh, uh, very similar to uh, the SEO supplemental coverage option. It is this area plan that's going to play off of county data, not the individual producer data. Uh, it's a little bit different than SEO in that it has a, a it begins coverage at 90% of a benchmark, where SEO is at 86% of the benchmark, and it differs. Uh, on the depth of the coverage as well, uh, where SEO will go down to whatever level of buy-up coverage you have, uh, Stacks is going to end at the uh, wherever you bought up or 70%. So it goes from 90 to 70 max, and it could be higher depending on where you buy your individual insurance coverage. Also a difference from SEO. SEO is, has to be purchased in combination with a, a underlying insurance product. Uh, stacks could be bought, that's the only policy you buy on those acres. That's the big difference. Um, another difference between SEO, and why do I keep comparing it to SEO is because they're both available for upland cotton. There's a choice to be made. But another difference between SEO and Stacks is that the uh, SEO uh, premium subsidy from the government is 65%, where with Stacks is 80%. Uh, there was also a uh, protection factor which would uh, increase the ability of our producers uh, to have a higher payment uh, if there is a loss. Uh, that protection factor works like it has in other uh, area plans. One of the things that's going to be the most interesting is uh, stacks as well as all these plans that are going to be using area yields as determined by risk management agency. Uh, depending on how that yield comes out, uh, we don't know what those yields are from RMA just yet. That's that's a reality. When those a specific yield for your county is announced, then we'll know whether this plan is going to uh, work for you better or not. And that's one of the things that we're going to have to wait on to see what what those yields are, because they're going to be using a, a RMA developed area yield, and that is not Nash yields. It's not FSA yield. It is different. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, one of the things that uh, is really nice about Stacks is they allow you, for cotton producers in Texas specifically, uh, is they allow you to break out and have a Stacks policy on your dry land acres, which would be different from your irrigated acres. Obviously, with it in Texas, dry land is going to have a lot more risk than irrigated acres would have, and uh, the cost would be different. Uh, one of the things that producers need to keep in mind for the 2014 crop is there is going to be this about 5.4 cent payment, uh, direct payment. We want to, it's not a direct payment, it's called a transition payment, but essentially it's going to work similarly. Uh, it's going to be made for 2014. Uh, that, so for this year, since you don't have stacks isn't available yet, you're going to get this payment. For 2015 and beyond, you will be, uh, your protection will be get coming from either the choice of stacks or SCO. Now I have a graph that basically shows the, uh, this flow chart will show you the differences, uh, a little bit of the difference between SEO and stacks for upland cotton. Uh, it, it basically, you have a choice for those acres, it's just you can't have both on the same acre. Uh, with regard to stacks in the blue, you can see that uh, it goes from 90 to 70, essentially has the multiplier, and it has to, uh, it, could, it could be uh, 
the only policy you have. The, this SEO description is green and it's, it tells you a little bit more about that as well. So, one of the other things I wanted to point out for Upland Cotton producers, just make sure you're aware when you had that base acres that were uh, cotton base, uh, they're now generic base acres and it is my expectation, we don't know this for sure yet, but it's my expectation that when you go to sign up with FSA, you're going to have to choose among the 21 covered commodities, what you would want, either price loss coverage or agricultural risk coverage on each of those, if you ch chose to produce them in the future. So just remember, you will have to sign up with FSA still, but it's going to be a little bit different than uh, producers of covered commodities. Until next time, thank you very much.